remove my earphones so they cannot hear your voice. I said, it's okay. Uh, I can repeat what you're saying, yeah, in a worst case scenario. So that was all the homework, uh, classwork. And uh, we've been doing, so number 40 was already done, Sheikh. So the homework is to continue 42 and 46. Well, am I wrong? Where is 44? You think it's under this? Balan balan le coin of 44. So, all right. Anyway, let me, let me throw your work, Michael, here. So we can organize the papers and probably, yeah, let me desktop. What's, what's this? Oh, this is the recording getting ready. So let me start with this one. Yeah, this is your homework. Okay, so your homework starts from 42. Awesome. So how about I grab all this? Okay, because hey, I start on a new page. I'm gonna write homework correction. Okay. Homework correction. Do you have the homework in front of you? Yeah, yeah. make it really you correct it. Okay, number 42. A pipe with both ends open has two consecutive, consecutive harmonics. Let me get 42. Okay, wrap text, square, make it small, take it with me. Okay, number 42. All right, a pipe with both ends open has two consecutive harmonics. Did I start with number 42A? I was writing this. Uh, suggest which harmonics are excited in the pipe. Yani which one? So you wrote Fn is 300, Fn plus 1 is 360. Uh, your job is to find N. Is that it? Uh, how do you do it? Uh, you need to look. I would look for the multiple. You see what I mean? So probably your work is not needed. Okay, let me see where, where you end up. You started by explaining, and then you find n is equal to five. So five and six, the fifth and the sixth. Okay? So n is equal to one will give you the first harmonic. What would be the first harmonic? Who helped you with this? Michael, can you hear me? I lost Michael. I'm alone. Okay, anyway, I'm going to write that the first harmonic is not known. Michael stated that n is equal to 5 and n is equal to 6. I'm going to try to guess f1 equals, f2 equals, f3 equals, and f4 equals to see if it makes sense. Michael. All right, so I know and F6 equals, right? I know it's F6 is 360 hertz. I know that F5 is 300 hertz. And I know that I should have constant jumps. So if I go backwards 60, it's going to be 240 hertz. Uh, and then 180 hertz. And then uh, 60, 120 hertz. Right? Am I right? and then go back 60, yani, uh, 60 hertz, right? You see that those are multiples, so times two, times three, times four, times five, and times six. Uh, Michael actually guessed how to do the calculation. It was simple math, and it doesn't look difficult to me, and he proved that n is equal to five and n is equal to six. For me, you don't have to prove it, you can guess it, so you can do trial and error and try it, so how about I put both answers here? Yeah. And that's it for now. All right, determine the length of the pipe. Michael, are you back? Yeah, it's okay. So I was saying in your absence that you can do this problem using two methods. I can use your method. So basically, you did the ratio. I know the ratio is the only way for you to get rid of L 
and the speed, and you got n and uh, n plus one, or you can simply guess. I, I tried this in your absence. I said the jump is has to be constant. So 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. This is my first harmonic. And this is double, this is triple, this is times four, this is times five, and this is times six. So it makes sense. Uh, if n is, is small, reasonably small, you can guess it. But as n is equal to nine or 10 or 11, it takes you forever to guess. So your method is an official method. And my method could be an alternative in case the people don't know how to do the solution. Now determine the length. It's very simple. You know the equation. You plug in the values, you find the length. I suppose your answer is right. So you did for, uh, for F5, 300 hertz, meter per second, SI units. So your answer should be right. I have to trust it until somebody proves you wrong. And this somebody has to, do, has to be Mike uh, Muhammad because Muhammad did the homework as well. Okay. And Joel, not yet. Okay. Now number 44, you like, as quick, like you know, your homework is right. Number 44, let me read it first. If you walk at one step on a second, if you walk at one step a second, okay, holding a cup of water, the water will spill out of the cup. Use this information to estimate the speed of the waves in the water. The diameter is eight centimeters and that's the length of my wire or length of my water. Spill out means I'm having standing waves because standing waves would give you very high waves. Uh, one step at a second is the frequency. So you have the frequency, you have the length. Okay, let me look here. You have the frequency. You have the length. You don't know which harmonic you're talking about. Probably you need to try them all. What do they want? V. How did you guess N? Use this effort to estimate the speed of the waves in water. What is your N? So you did it for the first, uh, but why the first, not the second? Okay, I can tell you the speed of sound in water. Is it speed of sound? Speed of the waves, no, so I cannot guess. Okay, so one step. If you walk, okay, if you walk faster, this will not happen. Let me see, N, the bigger the N. Okay, so probably what they meant is this is the first frequency that would make it spill. Okay, so there's no other way to solve the question anyway. Michael, I'm a bit impressed by your answers. How are you doing that? Are you fine? Um, are you trying to read online? You are seeking help, which is good. But what kind of help? Kif Ariftun. I'm so impressed. Bravo, Alik. I'm so impressed. Okay, as so I that we can stop at 46 because probably I need to explain more when they come. So let me read it. If it's really quick, we can do it. A horizontal aluminum rod of length 1.2 meters is hit sharply with a hammer. The hammer rebounds from the rod. Explain why the hammer rebounds. Rebounds, yeah, and you have an incident wave and then a reflected wave. Calculate the speed. The hammer created, no, no, no. Estimate the frequency of the sound wave by assuming that the rod vibrates in the first harmonic. Okay, so we can stop now and do this later with the, with your friends. So you started number 46, but you did not continue. I'm going to keep it anyway and take my time to correct it. Or probably, probably, how about we don't do it? I don't want it to, to traumatize you. Probably do more questions. I'm doing. Probably do more questions that are... Uh, that we can find in the previouses, okay? Hala, I'm gonna read it later and see. If it's something complicated, we can skip it and do more questions and standing waves that are actually, uh, let me do save as, because I don't like the name of the file. Sounds corrupted to me. Okay. Desktop.
uh, topic 4.5, just to make sure not to lose it. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. And